Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a War Zone. As you can see, I'm punching away some trees here that didn't quite get caught in the uh, the mass world edit removal that I just done. Most of them will decay themselves, so. Uh, but I have increased the area of our war zone because today I want to work on a little bit of a train situation. Now. Uh, this isn't a sort of a uh, huge village. This is sort of a bit more of a, a working village It's got a church and it's got some houses But I don't want a huge sort of public transport train station smack bag in the middle of it I want a work train station a sort of um, Delivery train station you know, minerals and coal and uh, Equipment and stuff like that so the type of train station that they have are a lot smaller. In fact, if you guys have, um, a lot of you have played uh, Fallout in Fallout 4, if you've ever been anywhere near the train tracks, you'll notice that they have these sort of small buildings, these small, more like huts next to the train track. Some of them are signaling boxes, some of them are the actual stations, and that's what we want to do here. I want to have the station, this road will extend down and stuff like that, but I literally only just sort of flattened out the area. Uh, I want that there, I want the station there, and then I want the train tracks, I want two train tracks here, and then I want them to join together and curve around to the left and go off that way. Okay, so I think that's what we can sort of start off with. Oh, yeah, and I did forget to put coarse dirt around the edge of this crater, which is why it's filled with grass. You guys, well done for spotting that one. <laughs> I forgot about that completely. How sick does this look though? All the boats and stuff like that. All the armor stands are there still, but when you're far away, they just uh, they disappear, which is a little bit of a shame. But anyway, I have got a picture of something that I want to work from today, of uh, this sort of hut-style train station. Beautiful. Looks looks wonderful. So we're going to grab some bricks. Uh, bricks are very easy to find out there. <laughs> bricks, we want uh, a sort of white block. I might use iron. I know it's a little bit weird, but it just the texture matches out really, really well. We want some um, glass. I might go with like something like a black stained or grey stained clay to look a little bit sort of... Uh, dark, damaged, dusty look, and then we want a, a, a roof on it, which we're going to use dark oak for. Obviously, it's going to be blown up to smithereenies, uh, but we always build it like in a completed form first. It just makes it easier. It gets to look right. Okay, something like that. That will get us started. Oh, and some stairs, because it's actually like on the second floor. Really, really cool look. Oh, birch would be wonderful. I've always wanted to find a use, a good use for birch, and it looks like this is going to be it. So, the train track's going to run just behind here, right near the church. And then the little uh, hut itself is going to be somewhere along here. Okay, now it is a small sort of hut. I'm going to start off with that sort of width. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six blocks width. I want it an odd number, because that makes the uh, roof a lot easier when it comes to it. So, it's a seven block width by one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I guess. I'm looking on the picture. I'm sort of trying to gauge. There's a window in the middle of it. That's about there. That would be a three-block window. Yeah, no, that sounds about right. That's about right for the size here. Really cool-looking building, though. really is. So it's sort of brick for the first floor. Like this. There'll be a doorway somewhere in here. I expect to get down to this bottom one. I'm going to put the doorway right there. Boop. Something, something like that. You can't see the grey stained glass on my hotbar that easily. It looked like a blank spot. I was like, I swear I had something there. I'll have this around here. And then the window goes in there, in that little hole that we've got. That made me dizzy. I looked up and down way too fast then for my brain to keep up. <laughs> okay, once we've got that in, we're going to go with a this eye. Now, it looks a little bit weird. I don't know if I quite like it. It's got the lines that go across. Basically, this would be like a white wood that goes across. But I really don't like the splits down the middle. Diorite. Diorite could look better. Actually sort of matches in the feel of this era quite well as well, doesn't it? Do I want to go two blocks up with this or just one block? Let's start off with one block and then we'll we'll think about it from there. So we want this to come up and around here. We then want a darker block. I actually am thinking about using a sort of log for this. I'll take that one away. That comes up the corners. Up there. 
and up here. And this is actually, strangely enough, where the door for this top level goes. This actually comes out, I'm going to say, like, three blocks by, like, that. So you get, like, a four by four, isn't it? Yeah, like a four by four square, sorry. Uh, and take that out there. Then we put the logs in here and here. It's very much like, um, what is it? Uh, steampunk. Very much sort of, almost like a steampunk style in a in a weird way. The sort of shape of it. And then these stairs go down here. Birch could look wonderful for this. It goes down the floor. It actually goes out onto the road. So I might put a little curve in it. I put a curve in it here. Let's get the birch full blocks. Thank you. And then have them... No, I'm going to curve them all the way around. And then they're going to come down here. That's going to be a nice touch. Put that under there as well. And backwards. Oops. And this way. Down the bottom there. And then jump in the ground. Ugh. To put those ones down. Wonderful. Okay. So I think that's actually a much better look to what I thought it was going to be as well. Uh, we can put some sort of edging around here. I'm going to curve that one to have a fence maybe standing on the side of it. Uh, I'll do that in a minute, I think. Now, the windows. Most of this is actually quite strange glass all at the top here. But I'm going to put some uh, andesite up the middle there. Uh, now, I'm going to do it that way for this side. And then this one I'm going to match. Or should I do it like that? No, I don't like that much. I like I like having the big window on these sides. So it gives the... Um, uh, what do you, the train stopper guy? I don't know what his name would be. Uh, more ta more more visibility. You see, okay. So let's put the glass in here. Now it looks it doesn't stand out that much the glass because we're using the sort of grey look. Uh, but remember, we're gonna bust out most of these windows at the end with some TNT anyway. I'm building a building just to blow up at the end. It's what we love to see, isn't it? Uh, so yeah, even though you can't really see through the windows much at the moment, that will be sorted out and fixed pretty soon. Uh, we do actually need a block that goes along the top here, don't we? All the way around here. And then this goes up a little bit higher there. And that'll make the roof look, look better as well. So along that one, to there. Same thing over here. I think I'll probably put some windows in here, shouldn't we? Like, maybe a big window there, but then no window there. And then doors will go on the edge. That can go away, because that's going to be the floor colour. Yeah, okay. Uh, we'll have this coming down here. And there. And that'll go on nicely like that for, like, a smaller uh, roof section. Yeah, okay. So let's put the roof on. Nice and easy to do here. There's no uh, edge block that we need to worry about here. So it's just a matter of doing the entire roof in this uh, uh, dark oak. Look, slabs on the top there. I always do the edges first. I, I just find it faster. I've built many, many roofs in Minecraft. And I find doing the edge of the peaks first. And then that just leaves you the middle sections to fill in. It's the quickest way to do it. Because no one likes to spend ages doing one thing. So, I'm one of these efficient people that like to find the quickest way on how to do something. <laughs> it sounds ever so lazy, doesn't it, when I say it like that. <laughs> this along here. Uh, there is also it's like some a nice detail, or a nice, not much detail, but there's a nice little tiny bit of detail on the tops, on the edges. Uh, probably we'll just use a fence for it or something. Uh, it just pokes up on either side. Again, sort of with a, a medieval touch. Uh, quite nice. A mix of sort of um, uh, a nice mix of eras in this building, I think. Both fictional with the steam uh, with the steampunk and non-fictional with the medieval. Oops, down here, and then the last one goes in there. Okay, so I want to get now the fence because it's driving me nuts. Uh, I'm gonna get a nice dark oak fence to go in there. Oop, ah, okay. Um, I'll put another one on top then, like that, and like that, and on. Oh, I can't do it on that end one. Fair enough, no problem. We'll run this down here. And one on there. And then have some stairs that come down, I think. No. That one. And then have this coming up the side there. Beautiful. Have these underneath just to 
neaten it up, I think. And do I want to have the same thing on the other side? We can have, yeah, I think I think we can get away with it. Have those down here like this. And then just until it goes underneath the building, put the upside down ones in. Oh, that looks nice and neat. That looks really neat, actually. I like how it just hangs over a little bit of the path because this road is going to continue on. See how that just sticks out over the pathway? That's a really nice touch. I like that. Uh, I need this glass because I forgot about this part. Beautiful. Uh, for a floor in there, I think we're going to use a normal oak floor. So oak will come on here. Uh, do I want to put any blocks underneath that to hide it up? Maybe like birch slabs underneath it. Like that. Yeah. Okay. And then go on the inside here. Put down a floor. The nice thing about doing a building this size is it doesn't take long to do the floors. The bigger the building you do, the more time it takes to do that kind of thing. Um, This is on window level. Do I like it on window level? No, I think I want to drop it down. All right. We'll have a little drop down in. Yeah. We'll have like a little stair that comes down and drops into the building. I love I, I love these sort of little ideas. Okay. And put it down here. That's much better. And then the windows like aren't on the floor level then. I don't like I never like that look. Okay, down here. Like that. Uh take the bricks away. Select that. That. Set to plank. And then stick a window in along the edge there. Ugh. Oops. Along here. I don't know what this window would be for. In fact, I don't know what would be down here. I can only assume that maybe it's stores or maybe someone lived down in the bottom of the train station. I don't know what it was like in those days. I assume it would have to be something along those lines. Probably stores. I don't think anybody uh, would would live in it. I don't think. Uh, but that looks pretty sick. I like that. I like the wood that we've got that sort of just stands out the, uh, the diorite a little bit. Now, should we blow it up? Yeah, or should we do the train track? Let's do the train track first. So, we're going to want a stair. Um, perfect. We'll use that andesite netheracky stair. And um, oak slabs, I think, for the... I don't know what they're called. Battens? Something like that. Uh, I want the train... Do you want the train track to be this way round? With the wood going through the middle? Or do we want the stairs to be this way round? If we had the stairs this way round that we're doing it now, it'll make the train look small. No, I like it the other way round. Train track can be, uh, it makes the train track look wider then, slightly wider, like an illusion to make it look slightly wider. So we'd have one train track there, and then we'd have a couple of blocks in the middle, and then another train track would go, oops, would go next to it. We'd have some buffers at the end and then these train both these tracks will join up to one track curve round to the left somewhere and go off in that direction i'm going to do that off camera and i shall be back okay so <laughs> putting down all those wood slabs took a long time which is why i don't know <laughs> off camera that was really really boring uh, but the effect of it was totally worth it it looks really really nice uh, now i'm on the straight section i'll just able to copy and paste a little section of rail all the way to the edge of what we're doing at the edge of where our, our little sort of building zone beautiful so this is what it looks like now with the uh with the join in it, it looks pretty sick I don't, for minecraft i think that's not bad right there's a pretty good curve a nice sort of smooth curve for a train to get around i'm really really chuffed so we need a little sort of a stopper on the end here. I'm not going to do it as quite as big as one that we had on Zonocraft. I'm going to use uh, Dark Oak. Yeah, Dark Oak, I think. Mm. Dark, yeah, Dark Oak would work out well. So it's going to be a little bit of a smaller one. We do it like this with uh, uh, some of these stairs up the back. And then grab some red, uh, probably clay, I think, to go on the sides there. Just as a, like, you know, a train. I think they're buffers, aren't they called? They're buffers. Train buffers. Stoppers, whatever you want to call them. I always called them, I think I always, I've always called them buffers, but I might be wrong there. Maybe some of you uh, train guys can let me know in the, 
on the on the comment section. There's plain people, there's train people. I know you're all there. I know you all watch and criticize. That's not a railway. That's that's uh, uh those type of railways would be used for the uh the western highway through state 67 if you were doing a uh, a world war ii inspired area you would need to have a, a, a more of a darker wood going across i know what you like oh, i've seen it all before i know exactly what that kind of thing's like <laughs> um what i do what we should do though uh, as a definite is actually change up some blocks underneath this grass uh, underneath the track so it's not all grass and i want to mix in some gravel in there and uh, and potentially some coarse dirt as well. Now, can I get the, oops, can I get the IDs back up on the blocks? I need to remember which, which one it was. You guys did tell me, and I have done it, on the city world. Now I can't remember. <laughs> it's gone out of my head again. I did I I did remember it, but now it's gone again. So <laughs> we're gonna select from there, to. Roughly here, so maybe not that far. I can do sort of the edge by hand. We'll go to there, and I want to do um, set to grass and gravel and not cobblestone, not coarse dirt. I think Podzol is like one four, isn't it? We'll just do that for the minute. Oh. Um, replace grass with grass and gravel. What's going on? Uh, replace grass. Yeah, I didn't want that. <laughs> replace grass. No, I, it was set. Set. No. <laughs> I'm getting confused. Replace grass with grass and gravel. That's what I want. Okay, fair enough. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there for now. Then I'm, gonna, I'm not I'm not even gonna touch it anymore. What we do want to do though on the other side is uh, there's like a little bit of a storage barn on the other side. Very red building uh, with some wooden sides to it, with some wooden edges to it. And I think it looked absolutely fabulous. So we should definitely add that as well. And it's not really that hard to build. It's like yeah, a normal sort of a uh, wooden barn if you like with some windows. That go down the side so i think we'll do two block wide window two by two windows yeah two by two windows with two blocks on either side of the window so two blocks window two blocks planks we'll put the planks in here and then do another window section so two blocks then a two by two window and then two blocks and then planks and i think i want this three blocks window in length like 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 three panels if you like wide so we'll have that in like that and then that's going to be the edge of the barn okay uh along the front looking on the picture here oh it's sort of elevated off the ground a little bit so i'm actually going to add add this this reminds me a lot of fallout as well very uh 50s era so we'll have this going along here just elevate the uh these panels up by one Oops, not with a slab. Put those on top. Oh, yeah, and then on the ends here, there's like a little sort of section of, of planks that come out. I suppose that you would stand on or something along those lines. So they would be like this. And then we'd have the width of the building. Now it has a, a, a spruce dark oak bit down the middle. Not spruce, dark oak down the middle. But we need to work out exactly how wide we want each panel to be. I think a 4x4 four four area. 4x4 four four square, then we'll have panels, oh, planks up the middle, and then another 4x4 four four area up there with planks up the side. That'll give us a nice width, I think. It's a correct sort of width for the length of the building. You don't want something too wide when it's not long enough to sort of compensate for it. So I think that would work quite well. I let out the biggest bumblebee today. What a distraction. <laughs> In between recording videos, I went out and uh, had a drink. It's a lovely day outside, so I sat outside for a little bit, and uh, there was the biggest bumblebee in my sitting room that I'd ever seen. We see a few bumblebees around my area, but this one was huge. I'm a little bit wary of them. I know there's not really much to be scared about with bumblebees, 
uh, but I was a little bit wary of him because just the size of them, he's absolutely huge. And uh, he was trying to fly out through the window, and obviously you can't get out through the window. And uh, I was like, mm, how am I going to do this? How am I going to uh, let this this little guy go free? Anyway, luckily he flew towards the door, and I was like, ah, he's at the door. I can just open the door. So I had to hold the door open, like with my arm there, and the bumblebee just sort of flew over the top. I don't like them because I think there's a a high chance that I'm allergic to them. I've only ever been stung once, and I was stung by a wasp when I was very very little, and I had a very bad reaction to it. But because I was so little. That might have been partially to it. Since then, I have never been stung. So, so I don't know if I'm allergic to it or not to it. And I'd rather not find out. If if there's the option to not get stung, I think you probably want to take that option. Um, but yeah, I, I, bumblebees can only sting you once they die after bumblebees sting you. Wasps, wasps can sting you multiple times, but bumblebees only sting you once. And I would really don't want to... Let that bumblebee waste its life on me. I'm definitely not worth losing your life, Hoover. That's for sure. Oops, I didn't want to click that then. Uh, I want to put in a little bit of a doorway in here. Uh, just on one side. Just on this side. I don't want one on the other side. But I do think we should fill up this middle area with uh, the planks. From there to oop, there. Oops replace air uh, with place. Are you going to argue with me this time? No, you're not going to argue with me this time. I might have just done something like a little brain fart that got it wrong last time. <laughs> Who knows? So for the uh, next section here, we're going to put a, a section of dark oak that goes all the way around the building. Like this. And then there's like another sort of very thin red part. But only on the two ends, not on the sides. So on the end here, we're going to have red that comes up here, like that, with that through the middle, and then that goes on top. And the rest of the top is actually this spruce, so we cannot use, uh, ooh, uh, yeah, red there. We cannot use dark oak for the roof of this. We'd have to, we'll have to find uh, another block. I might use a, I might do a slab top actually, and keep it a sort of lower style roof. I could have. Slab. I could have a slab here, there, there. Yeah, that that would work out pretty well. I think. Nice sort of lower metal metal style roof, you see. Uh, so we take that away, and then have this up the middle there, like that, and then it'd be slab, slab, slab. That's the middle one up there. Oops. And then it would work its way back down again. To the edge. Yeah. And then we can hide up these little gaps by going one block over. And doing this. That hides those ugly gaps that you always get when doing slab roofs. Uh, very easy one to hide here. And then from the side it looks looks absolutely fine. And, uh, and then just do it all the way across. Is there a way that I can cheat? There's always a way that I can cheat, isn't there? I'll go from here to there. And stand here. Copy. There's always there's always something that I can cheat with. There's nothing that I can cheat with. <laughs> uh, oops. I, I like to do things as quickly as possible. But when I do this, it usually ends up with me taking longer because I get the command wrong because I'm silly copy paste 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 oh and it gives a, a nice oops, a nice beam effect going through the middle as well I like that paste yeah paste 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 boop boop uh, boop and then I'll do the end by hand otherwise it's gonna go terribly terribly wrong uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Just start singing. And that one. Yeah. Okay. That's perfect. We've got it. Uh, here. Down there. It was easy when you started off with the edges. That's why I, I said early on in the episode, always start off with the edges. It makes it a lot easier, a lot quicker. And I was right. That looks good, though. 
It's a nice little red barn on the side of the train track there. Works out fabulous. I will get gravel, and I will I will put gravel, podzol, and coarse dirt underneath the train track. That'll really make it stand out and not quite be as uh, boringly standing on uh, on grass there. But that looks pretty sick, right? Yeah, I really like that. I might even do um, like a train carriage or something. I threw something. I might do like a train carriage that's sort of fallen over on the side of the track somewhere. Maybe we'll do that next episode. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We should see you in the next episode.